Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins uh, is here. Bobby, you have an update for us. Yeah, Cat 2 now as it comes down. You can see the center now over central Manatee County. This is not far, well, northern parts of Lakewood Ranch, really. In between there and Duet is where the center is. Still the very heavy rainfall. See the reds here? Watch them come out of Hillsboro into eastern Hillsboro from that ice because I'm really concerned about there's a ton of flooding right now in this uh, I-75 corridor here um, all the way down to Ruskin. But now it's Fishhawk into Plant City, and that's going to move up I-4 for the heavier rain. Ton of wind out here on the backside. So even though the highest winds are moving away, we're actually not because it's coming in off of the water here eventually. And so power outages are piling up for the areas in northern Pinellas, northwest Hillsboro, and western Pasco County. And this is all moving off towards the north and the east. Let me get some of the uh, latest numbers there for you. And because they just downgraded this. And we expected that. You know, they're actually calling for it to go through to about 90 mile per hour winds by the time it gets over to the other side. As of 10 p.m., it's down to 110. 111 is the beginning of Cat 3. And Cat 3 is considered major hurricane. Anything Cat 3 and above is considered. So it's just, just below is still a major hurricane. But the pressure's coming up 958, still moving around 16, 17 miles per hour. And it's now 20 miles northeast of Sarasota and pulling away. And you can see, well, that's not, let's put that in there. And you can see how it's been just slowly downgraded as it comes to move on shore. It's 16, 17 miles. Imagine driving your golf cart from here to across the state. It's going to take a little time before that happens, right? Uh, and so you can see the backside of it. That's the good news is that the winds will slowly start to come down. The rain will start to come down for western parts of Florida, west central Florida. But, you know, we were just talking them up in Orlando, and he's right. He said the wind's going to pick up, and it is. It's going to start picking up in the Orlando area, and the rain will get heavier for them as well. So that's going to continue to move off towards the east. This is the track for what it's worth, but you can see it going across and staying as basically a hurricane. I mean, 70 mile per hour winds tomorrow after the yeah tomorrow afternoon, just about there. Uh, but that's well off the east coast, and it's weakening at that point. But it's going to take some time to get there. Look, there's warm water that has fallen all across this area. And it's Florida, so it's not exactly an, uh, a, a bad atmosphere for it. It is over land, and that's why the weakening will continue. Uh, so right now, what you want to do is if you're in eastern parts of Hillsboro, western Polk County, especially, say, Bartow. I mean, Plant City's in, in, in Hillsboro, but Plant City to Lakeland to Bartow, eventually Haines City. Be prepared for flooding conditions. All right, because we're going to get very heavy rainfall, probably three to four inches of rainfall in just about an hour's time when that little area goes through there. And that's on top of what you've seen on top of it. Now, if you're watching from Hardy and DeSoto in Highlands County, it's not even raining in most of that area. And I don't see a whole lot. There will be some coming as this moves away. You'll get some of this bottom part of it. But that would be just about it. It's a building. Yeah, the building, the building's moving. Yeah. Um, so let's go out let me zoom out just a little bit here. And so you can kind of tell just how fast these cells are moving. And then look at these cells out here. It's, it's more being pushed out than anything else. That is less wind and that is coming. Okay. And so the core of this is moving away. It will take the highest winds. As we were talking earlier, though, that wind field kind of spreads out at the same time that it's falling apart. So it went from three to two. But the, the, the lower winds spread out a little bit more. And so what it ends up doing is just keeping a real steady wind for several, several hours. And that's why we're thinking after midnight, some areas right along the immediate coast will start to see a little bit less. But it's really going to take till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. And then it drops off by 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, at least down to the 40s for gusts. So gusts expected in the 70s for the Tampa Bay area next three hours at least. And then slowly coming down. Rainfall will keep adding up. We've seen some of the heaviest that we're going to get in Pinellas, in Pasco. Uh, Hernando, still a few heavy showers are east of Spring Hill, east of Brooksville. Uh, but that will thin out just a little bit. And then eventually we'll start to see all of it move off towards the east over the next couple of hours. Let's look at some precip totals here. And you could, wow, I mean, look at some of these areas in northeast Hillsborough County, over a foot. Uh, clear water, mainland clear water, 10 inches. And then, of course, you know, 17 inches. I mean, that, that's just a crazy number, 17 inches for Albert Whitted for, for rainfall. Uh, should set a record, especially in the, in the amount of time that it happened. 
and probably going to be right mainly north of I-4 all the way up through Orlando with very heavy rainfall. That the track is pretty much off to the northeast just like that, so it's not that much should change. Uh, bigger picture, there is some drier air on the back side of all of this, and that's what will be moving in here as we go through uh, the next 24 hours or so. So there you go. You can see, let me zoom this way out for you. Almost all of the watches and mornings that we have right now, all of those dark reds, that's flooding uh, issued stuff. That's basically flash flooding. And that will continue. Obviously, it will continue as it moves off towards the north and the east. Tornado threat is just about done. Not concerned about that for our neck of the woods. And there's some clearing. <laughs> We're going to get some of that as we get into tomorrow. And we really don't talk much about extended forecasts in these situations. But for, and look, and there will be cleanup, right? But for behind this, this is nothing like what happened with Helene. We will have much cooler air and drier air. So tomorrow, about 83, and that's with some sunshine and a good breeze in the afternoon. But look at Friday morning, 64 degrees. And that's in Tampa. It'll be cooler. Northern Pasco, Hernando, Citrus County. We're talking low 60s. And then we're going to keep mid-60s for lows through the upcoming weekend. Highs, a beautiful weekend ahead, to be honest with you. Highs in the mid-80s at that point, guys.